In our final column, we're going to develop colour blending and ombre techniques in different ways. In the top box, you're going to use cool colours, starting with the darkest tone, near an edge, varying that pressure, getting lighter, and then starting to blend the lighter tone over the top. As you can see on this video, I've done this with different colours to create contrast, but there's still that ombre or that colour change happening. You can see here the yellow has been used as a blender. That's really useful to know. The second box, we're going to explore warm colour blending and ombre techniques. So again, in the same way, we start with the darker colour, darker, pressing on lighter, overlapping with, say, the orange, the next one, and then using that yellow as a blender to really make it pop and really make it zing. Once you've got a base colour down, you can start to work back in and add darker tones or more ombre effects later on. Here you can see the final piece. The final box is about developing warm and cool colours and combining them, um, contrasting with plain colours as well, so we can see what sort of effects we can get using crayons in different ways. I move around the, color, the image using colours in different places to try and create a colour balance. And as you can see, this is the three ombre colour blending techniques complete.